everything here should be underwater. We need water now. We need water for shorebirds, songbirds, waterfowl, bald eagles, all wildlife. It needs water on this refuge now. We have a solution. We buy it. We buy it from willing sellers, ranchers and farmers that are willing to sell us water to fill this refuge. With this plan, we can restore Klamath to its former greatness forever. In 2020, we had one of the worst water years in history in the Klamath Basin. The refuge complex that we love so much, that's so important for the birds, received very little water. There's been times when there's been less water, more water, but never as dry and as empty and as barren as it is today. You'll see suffering birds, you'll see sick and dying birds. It's gone from the most prolific wildlife spot in the entire Pacific Flyway to the worst. This year that happened. That doomsday scenario that we always talked about happened. If you can image an hourglass in that narrow spot right in the middle, that's the Klamath. It's the key to everything above it and below it. If you go into the surrounding landscape, We've lost 80% of the wetlands up here. It entailed some 360,000 acres of wetland. Today, it's reduced to about 90,000, a significant difference. Well, we're here at a moment in time. What you see here is a marsh that's going dry the first time in over 75 years. Without water, Klamath becomes a magnet for disease. The refuge was created to preserve wildlife, but instead, it can become a death trap. This year in the basin turned out to be a really bad year for botulism. Almost every wetland we have on the refuge complex this year is dealing with some level of a botulism outbreak. When there's a botulism outbreak and birds are going through the molting process, they can't pick up and fly to the next location. So they're actually stuck in this area with unhealthy water and disease outbreak. Due to the lack of water, we had over 60,000 birds die from botulism this year the biggest die-off we've dealt with in the last 25 to 30 years. The degree to which it happens, there is some control that managers have if they have the right amount of water at the time that they need it, because timing is also really important. I came here when I was 13 years old. Everything I saw behind me was water and thousands of birds enjoying this habitat. People from all over North America come to this very spot to watch that. Now it's gone. Whenever you talk about water in the Klamath Basin, it's a tricky subject. The farmers, ranchers, uh, irrigators, and, and, and the refuges, uh, it means everything, and it is everything. Water is the lifeblood of this basin. In difficult years in particular, it's very hard for the refuge to get the water that it needs. If we had reliable water deliveries, we could start making prescriptive management actions that would allow us to manage the habitat for the diversity of water birds across all life cycles. The issues that we're facing in Klamath Basin have a direct impact on areas throughout the Pacific Flyway. Whether it's Sacramento, San Francisco, Tulare, Merced, Sacramento Valley, you're gonna see a lot less birds. We're already starting to see the effects of what could happen if we don't find a solution for the Klamath Basin. And so it's time to have that conversation and figure out a way to make sure it does get the water it needs. This is a fixable solution. It's not gonna be perfect for any one group. It won't be. But I think there's other opportunities. We can make the habitat better, not just here on the refuge, but throughout the, the entire Klamath Basin. Leave the world better than you found it. And this is one of those moments where we actually have the chance to make that so. If we want a thriving Pacific Flyway, add water to the refuge, and the rest will take care of itself. We are supported by sportsmen, bird watchers, farmers, ranchers, tribes, and legislators. Many paths, we share one truth, water for fish and wildlife. The Klamath is dying for a drink. We can buy that drink. With your help, we can restore Klamath to its glory. <laughs>